But okay guys, Caesar Ramirez here. I just bought this Label Rider 450 Twin Turbo. You can put double the labels. So if you're gonna do like stamps, you can do labels here for your FBA products. And so today I'm gonna to be talking about on how to make your own barcodes using this this printer. I wish there was a template that Amazon offered when you got you know when you, when you go to your seller central and you print out your list here you have a, a list of uh, print labels for this page none of these formats work for the Dymo so unfortunately there's an alternative a plug-in that you can pay for I think 50 bucks a year or 5 bucks a month um, I'm only shipping out 14 products so I don't mind recreating the labels so what I do is I use the Dymo software okay I create one template of a file pretty simple and then I uh, I, re, I, re, I basically copy over the info and then the, the barcode is generated. So let's start over and I can show you how that works. Alright, so the first step you want to do in the software is go into address. Okay, down at the bottom you want to click on where it says that little arrow. You can see it right there at the bottom. And you want to select the text that says address simple barcode. So this one right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And you're going to be presented with this guy here, just a standard uh, barcode. And what I do is I shift over to my PDF file that is given to you when you're in Seller Central and you print this out, you're going to be given the PDF file. And they're going to look like this. There's all my 14 uh, SKUs that pop up. And so essentially, um, I'll move this window over. All I did was I double clicked on the ASIN right there, which is the Amazon SKU. Double click on that guy, right click, copy, or command C or control C on your PC, command C on the Mac. And then come in here and then double click on the barcode there. We're going to leave it at code 9, uh, sorry, code 39, that's fine. And then barcode data, we're going to replace that with the new info. Okay, so you only have to do this the first time. And it doesn't look like I copied it correctly. I'm holding the camera, so it's a little difficult for me to do this twice. I'm holding this up, okay. Control uh, Command C, paste it in there. There you go. There's your your ASIN, and then we're just going to click on OK. I like to stretch this barcode up a little bit higher, so I'm going to double click on. There we go. Should be able to resize this. Okay, I think because I'm inside the label area, I'm going to go to the next step is insert the text. Come over to text here, just drag this box over. And then I resize the box about right there. Bring this out to about right there. There it goes. So now because I'm in the insert box, it lets me play with the sizes of this of this guy. So I'm just going to move it right there and then have this text here. Then I'll copy the description of what this item is. So I'll go ahead and copy that guy. Command C, come over here, and paste. There we go. Stretch this guy out. You can resize. I think the font size I used was about 24. I don't think it matters because you're you're sizing it as you as you raise it like that. And essentially that's it. Uh, you can save this layout at the top right there so let me uh, go right there save the current label and I called it uh, under label I just call it uh, Amazon FBA just like that if you're on a PC or Windows um, this is gonna look a little bit different because I'm on a Mac but it's the same essentially the same idea and then I'm done um, because I have this printer I can select either the left one or the right one um, my labels for addresses are on the left hand side so I'm going to go ahead and select that I only need one copy actually I need two because I have two sets of these and these have to go over your barcodes of your items so all my items right there I'm gonna put these over the barcodes okay and as long as it covers up the barcodes it can be on the shrink wrap or under the shrink wrap doesn't matter but the idea is to cover it up so that when Amazon receives this whole box of goodies, they know exactly what is what. So let's print this out.
And there she goes. There's one. And there's two. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I, I spent like uh, literally a couple hours trying to figure out how to just print everything at once. And there's no beautiful way of doing it. Okay, I know some folks are using a plug-in. Again, um, I don't see no reason why to buy more stuff. I, I'm just trying to uh, do this as a test for my team and try to see uh, if we can get this uh, essentially rolled out through a system because I haven't really found a place where it's an all-in-one supportive system. Uh, a lot of good people out there are getting different tips, but when it comes down to figuring stuff out, um, it's really a learn-by-doing process. And I can tell you that the th this format that Amazon gives you, it's not the greatest, you know, unfortunately. So you're going to have to uh, either recreate the label or go and find a paid solution. So um, there's how I do it, guys. Um, you know, you can also, I, I played with another method too where I converted the, the PDF into an Excel file. Um, that didn't really work out for me. So, um, you know, if you guys have a solution or a template through Excel or Word, hey, I'm open to it. Uh, I'm just sharing this out to the uh, YouTube community because I like to get some feedback. I love this little guy, you know, this guy's pretty cool. Uh, I definitely think you got to have one of these if you're going to be doing some labeling and uh, it's clean too. So, all right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys soon on the next one.